Not really much to say about Destiny Islands. The world itself is not very long. You know, because, you know, things start getting... Shit starts getting real in this in this world. Well, less real and more like they just got ran out of patience. <laughs> <laughs> and it took them until Destiny Islands to finally have that mindset. Alright, so uh, what should we call it? Here you only gotta find two, right? What, the, um... There's oh, the key to... The key, the key to beginnings and key to guidance. Yeah, there's no key to truth door in this uh, world. Right. But there is a key to rewards, and if you get it here, it's a sweet mega elixir. Yep. Mega elixir. But the problem with that is that the key to rewards room in this is quite the pain in the ass to unlock. Because it requires so much. 33 of each color. Yeah. And the key. What? Yeah. 33 of each color and the key. Of each color and, the key. Yeah. and here's something that I didn't know until uh, I did some research. Um, if you're looking for a particular card color, you have to go to a specific tier of worlds in order to find some. Green cards stop appearing after, uh, I believe, that's uh, Twilight Town. <laughs> you sure about that? Cause Absol kind of absolutely blue. sure, because I was playing, I was in, I was looking, I was uh, grinding for cards, getting the uh, Castle Oblivion Keto Awards room, and nothing was dropping green cards. I was like, what the fuck's going on? So then I look up, green cards stop appearing after Destiny Islands. There's nothing wow. in the game that tells you about that. That would explain why the fuck it got stuck there for a week. <laughs> wow. Good design there. That's a that's a total. Yeah, so if you're gonna go a, after, uh, if I well, just for recommendation, no green cards, Traverse Town. That's yeah. A, that's Good. a total dick move though. Uh, it's just odd, you know, because eventually, I guess you're just clicking your head saying that oh, I'm not getting any sort of green cards, like, but you can't tell if it's either because of programming or just shit luck. Programming. I thought it was shit luck at the time until I finally decided to look it up. Then I went back to Traverse Town and Booyah. The, f the first six battles, I got green cards every single time. <laughs> That's okay, Johnny. It's <laughs> and now I'm fault. legalized in six countries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was close. Yeah, I almost rolled around in the shadow. <laughs> Dog ball! <laughs> Survey sets. Two and eight. Usually what I like to do is I throw away those uh, endless darkness cards, like that really black room right there next to the roulette room. Yeah. I throw them out. Fuck. That's what I ended up doing, because uh, my map cards uh, was maxed out before I started grinding for more cards. And even then, I just use them as free get out of fuck up free cards, because all they have are shadows. Yeah. Oh yeah, when you don't feel like doing anything, let's go right house. I'll glide over your pitch black darkness fiend. With light! <laughs> the glide of light. I know you, I think. We just fucking fought each other! Ugh. Not that Riku. It's I know, but it's the spinning image! <laughs> it's Riku 2. No, wait, Riku 2 is back away. The Rikuing. <laughs> Was his dark soul brought back to light? Not yet. No. He's just about to lose it, actually. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, what have you done? <laughs> Great, the tectonic plates are moving again. <laughs> nah, Jack just slapped Titus. Damn. God damn! <laughs> did he turn to sin when he did that? Yeah. <laughs> he may as well. He may as well have been a sin game slap. Of, yeah, game of bitch slap of sin proportions. <laughs> <laughs> what did he get hit with? Sin's talent. What 75 to your attack? <laughs> All right, Shit. we got the key of guidance room, and I have cut us back to uh, because for some reason after this cutscene ends, you work back to the first room in the world. That's uh, yeah, that's really a, yeah. I, I I never got that, so I'm I work back. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> that's I'd a tonic buy, plate movement. <laughs> you know, the story of Jambro. Yeah, send it. <laughs> you suffer from that toxin, Johnny? Yeah, maybe. I'm not, <laughs> not sure. I'm not exactly sure how close I was to sin. <laughs> I think Jack would be a great super boss for Kingdom Hearts story. I'd like to see Jack. That'd be something. In uh, three. As long as he's voiced by Greg Berger. I can't picture Jack as anybody else now. Wait, Greg Berger? Yeah, that's his voice actor. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the guy done. Jet stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Kick Titus. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, I like Titus as a character. It's just that... God damn. The Meg Ryan look? No, it ain't even the Meg Ryan look. And I like Titus as a character, but it's just something about the way Jack does it. Makes it feel like it's heartwarming and understanding to realize what a failure of a parent he was because he doesn't have the manual. So now you feel bad for Titus. I feel bad for Jack more than... I do feel bad for both of them. A moment's retrieved, Johnny. Yeah. Jesus Christ, you saved up a lot of those. I gathered up a lot of them because I barely used any of them throughout this playthrough. I used them as door keys. That's yeah. another one I used. 
I'll be using moments for people a lot more uh, as we go along, but you know, uh, basically the way I was handling this was that I do I do a test play through of the world, so I get an idea of what to expect or what to um, what Talk to about. do. So I don't need to use moments reprieve to break the pace. You know, I like to keep recording sessions to one world per session. A moments reprieve is something I only really use unless I know that I, like I got a diff difficult boss upcoming, or if the world's really big. Fuck you, Oblivion. <laughs> yeah. And here it is. Yeah. The Peter Rewards room for Destiny Islands requires 33 of each color and the card itself, which you should have, like... You should at, have that easily point. by this yeah. point. Considering how often everyone like, come up to you. Give them to you. Now we see Johnny do mathematic mathematics. 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 I always wanted to be a mathematic man. Oh, you used all the almighty heart darkness? Yep. Aw. Yeah, higher numbers. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but the reward is a sweet one. It is a mega elixir. Is it free candy? No. no. I just said it was a mega elixir. Right. Candy! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the mega elixir you get here restores everything. It's yes. like stores a brand new fighter again. Coincidentally, that also starts selling the mega elixirs in the shops, and as soon as I got this one, I got another one worth eight. Yeah, that's uh, I, 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 I'm, six I'm, is good though. I'm pretty sure we mentioned earlier parts. The moment you get a new card, go to a Moogle shop. Yeah. To try and get multiple copies of it, especially now that we got Mega Lectures. Uh, Expensive uh, as balls though. Yeah, they are the, the CP value. They're near like a hundred. They're, they're it's ridiculous, but for good well, reason. Mega Lectures. Yeah. Yeah. The, I still have like a regular elixir in my deck as well as a Mega Lectures. I always have an elixir and Mega Lectures. Same here. Cause fuck it. Convenience. Yeah. <laughs> unless the you know unless you're using a deck that's specifically focused on say like magic cards, then you could throw a mega ether in there at some point too if you have to see the deck space. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I generally just stick into one elixir and one mega elixir. You saved again as soon as you got the card. Well, I don't want to lose this. <laughs> <laughs> well, would you? I no, I wouldn't. And then I died in a boss battle. Yeah. So uh, I do it, from now on. One thing, though, is because I knew that the Mega Elixir Key to Rewards room was coming up in Destiny Islands. What you didn't see was after the cutscene where Sora ditches Donald and Goofy because he's a dick. Uh, I did go back to other worlds and grind up more cards. Because I knew that damn room was coming up. So I would do that before you head to Destiny Islands for your first time. Hmm. I love this theme. It reminds me of 9 for some reason. Why 9? Uh, I think it's Dolly? Piano Does it remind you of Dolly? Huh? I think of the village of Dolly. Uh, Dolly? Yeah. I kind of get more of a... Not Conda Petit. Uh... Dolly? Yeah, the women of the village. Yeah, I'm thinking more along the lines of, um... Lin... Kind of Lindblum, actually. I don't know why Lindblum, Lindblum of all levels, really? but... Yeah. The town or the castle yeah. itself? The town. Like, calm, relaxed, everybody's doing their thing. Two threes, Johnny. There you go. Uh, how so do I science? Two threes past Johnny. <laughs> Sora's looking at his deck of cards. How do I science? <laughs> oh, Sora. Well, this looks familiar. Yeah, uh, the key of guidance room is a boss room, though, so be prepared. Uh, the Sora pops in there. Yeah. How the hell did I get here? We're on Angel Island, aren't we? <laughs> what happened? Knuckles destroyed it. Shit. Look at the tree. He got pissed off that the Master Rumble was destroyed again. Yeah. By he this just, asshole. He just stopped giving a shit. Dark side. Return. I like his boss card. From, D, from the DC universe? No. Not that dark side. <laughs> we went Voiced by Michael Ironside. <laughs> or or the or the force? Uh yeah. no, I don't even know what that is. Dark side. The, the, no, the force? The what? Dark, the dark side of the force? No, dark side. Oh, dark side. Dark side. Okay, well, never mind. Well, technically we can't say that because now Star Wars is part of Disney. And we're going to be copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, dark side here is all about the high numbers. But That's once he actually plays it, you're free to just rail on his ass. But then again, are you surprised that he that he just plays high numbers? Oh, but does he fuck you, Shadow! <laughs> All right. But yeah, we got a new slate, Ragnarok. This is one of my favorites to use back in the original game. I to use. I like using it a bit more than I normally do, only because yeah. with this one in particular, it goes up to nine, which will override the eight cards just in the event. Yeah. Ah. And I, w I like to admit something here. Uh, for the longest time in Rechain of Memories, I had no idea how to switch targets when you're locked onto something. I always thought you had to, 
you know, because uh, in the original game, when you locked onto something, Ouch. say like R1, you can switch your target by hitting like L1, just, you know, to whatever is next available. It doesn't work in this game. If you hit R2, you can't hit L2 to switch targets. What you have to do is you have to hold down the lock button and then use the right analog stick to shift your target. I didn't find that out until two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> So if you're wondering why I'm not aiming for Darkseid's head and only his left arm when it's available, uh, that's why. I thought you just wanted to cripple him. Yeah. <laughs> Take him off limb by limb. Those are much faster in this game. Yeah. And you can't cheese him by standing next to his crotch. As Johnny experienced? Yeah. What are you trying to do, Brian? with a blow job? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not so bad. Y you missed. Let me see. Oh. Here comes that warp, and there goes that warp. <laughs> Yeah, Darkseid in general is a hell of a lot faster than he was in the original. That's about the only thing you need to think about him, though, in yeah. reality. But, you know, Ragnarok is... Uh, He's also easy. easier to hit. Yeah. I think one of the big problems I had with him before in the original one was that he was just so... Is that it took so goddamn long for him to expose himself, it took me forever. Yeah. And I think they took that to heart, and it was, they sped him up. Turbirds! <laughs> His enemy card, which he doesn't use in the battle, is Mimic. Mimic, essentially, if your enemy has an enemy card in play, you can use that and gain its effects. Uh, would have been helpful earlier. So, sounds sounds like copycat. It is copycat. And it would have been helpful earlier, but now it's like you're coming up to the last bosses of the game where each of them are going to have, like, slates and shit like that you're probably not going to be able to use with your deck, so it's rather hard to use effectively in strategy. Not only that, it's fucking expensive. Yeah, Ragnarok is okay. particularly good for aerial enemies. It's also good to get most of the monsters in the game. Can it's a special attack, oh. and... Quite a few of them are not really resilient to that. How'd she get here? <laughs> Sora, you really came for me. It's you. It's really you. I've been through so much just to see you. Yes. And I'll never. And uh, when you see this compared to what you see in Kingdom Hearts 2 with Riku, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, does her fucking writing fumble? <laughs> but this isn't the right way. Nomine? I was lonely for so long. Wait, who voices Nomine? If you can remember. I I, I, I don't know. Chuck Testa. Chuck. <laughs> God damn it! That guy's fucking range. Jesus. That is a hell of a range. I'm so so happy, but. But to your heart, I had to. Is there any reason why you just stopped there, Nominee? Because I promised that I would protect you. Sora. I thought she was going to say, no, you didn't. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Oh, damn it. Sora got some mighty big hands. I'm not supposed to be in this picture. That's true. The fuck? Well, She's a double ghost. Double the nominate, double the fun. She's a ghost, isn't that she? Isn't Christmas past. Damn it! They don't really exist. In Region of Memory, she's voiced by Megan Jet Martin. In heart. Megan Jet Martin? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm butchering that, I apologize. But she's voiced what? by Brittany Snow what in 2. What are you saying? Hmm. What's gotten into you? Weren't we inseparable? Always together? But then, you had to go away. I came here so I'd never lose you again. Was it really me you wanted to see? Of course it was. I know I've forgotten a lot of things in this castle, but never anything about you. Yeah, she did. It did. Well, when you walked in here, you didn't know a goddamn oh. thing about her. Yeah, right. You gave this to me, didn't you? Hell, six six you floors up, you almost forgot how to use the bathroom. My good luck, that it, 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 no, Sora, unfortunate you can't move. believe me. <laughs> if I had to go through me, I had to go through me first. I'm going to make me eat those words. <laughs> most special to you call out to that piece of memory that glimmers faintly deep inside your heart pizza with stuffed crust no, I was just <laughs> thinking that <laughs> <laughs> that <Yeah. laughs> I was just I'm thinking stop. that <laughs> stop. out of my head you memory wish <laughs> stuffed crust nominee you can eat it in reverse Wait a what the hell happened to my heart? A oh, star. Well, it's still kind of a star. I thought she was going to show, like, the ugly half of her face. Like a fan of the opera. 
was expecting kind of something like an alien thing where she would have just her face would have exploded and would have saw like a huge Cthulhu monster like I'm like oh shit <laughs> oh, no. what is and, this castle doing to me and her name is, and her name is Pazuzu oh Christ new keyblade Oathkeeper that's a really strong keyblade 